Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. Let me turn my volume up. I forgot to do that. Hold on. Hopefully you can hear me now. Can you guys hear me and see me, everybody? I see a couple people on here. Most of you guys must still be asleep this morning. What is going on? I know I would be in bed if I didn't have to get up and do this video. <laughs> It is cold and windy here this morning. I mean, windy. It sounds like a tornado going through. But um, we don't have snow. I saw a lot of you guys have snow. Um, it's beautiful and sunny, but it is super windy. So I got up this morning and, uh, of course, as usual, I did not have a project ready. So I had to get up and come up with a project. But I had this one in mind because... Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But ever since we got the hexagon punch, I wanted to try it with the faux shutter technique. So normally you use a square in the middle. So today I'm using the hexagon punch, which is not totally um, cut evenly. See how it's got the rounded edges? So that's gonna leave you just a little teeny tiny gap like just a tiny, tiny bit. You can't even see it really. So, and I'm gonna show you how to overlap these so you don't really see the edges. So it took me a little bit of playing around to figure out how to get it just right. But um, I think it came out really well and it looks more like, you know, a camera opening up than um, the other one does with just the four pieces. So this one has six pieces instead of four. I don't know why I'm curling up here on the edges, I think because I sprayed it last time, it got a little bit wet. Um, so that's what we're doing today. And this one is just plain. So I just used the one sheet of designer paper. This one I added the two corners in, in a different pattern, just to give it a little bit of contrast there. So I'm gonna do both of them for you. Um, this is super easy adding those little pieces to it. It's not um, anything hard. So these are very easy cards and you can do them with any of the designer papers. You don't have to use this one. This one just happens to be my favorite one right now. Um, I love it, love it, love it. These are my favorite colors. Add a pink in there and it'd really be perfect. So let me say hello. Hey, Vicki, you're the first one on today. Hello, hello. Hey, Myra, hey, Carol, hey, Marva. Hey, Jude, hey, uh, or I said Carol. Um, hey, Judith. Oh, we got Jude and Judith. Hey, Sequencer. I can't remember what your name is. I think it's Carol, maybe. Um, Carrie, Marie, Jody, Hilda. Um, oh, Vicki, you gonna send me some snow? Cause I don't want any snow. <laughs> I do not like snow. <laughs> I'm a warm weather person. I want spring to hurry up and get here. Um, hey, Carol. Hey, Donna. Hey, Diane. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Regina. Hey, Hilda. I think I already said Hilda. Yep, I did. Hey, Susan. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Judith. Hey, Stella. Hey, Darlene. Oh, thank you for the wonderful Christmas card. Oh, you are so welcome. Um, hey, Sherry, hey, Michelle, hey, Mary. Oh, there went everybody. Oh, Quincer is Cindy Quincer. Hey, Stella, hey, Lynn. Um, hey, I sent you an email the other day, Lynn. You didn't email me back. Hey, Karen, hey, Mary, hey, Lisa. Oh, I already said that. Um, okay, I think I'm getting duplicates now. Hey, Dolores, hey, Louise, hey, Reva. All right, I think I got just about everybody on there, hopefully. I'm sorry if I missed you guys. All right, so this is what we're using, the Painted Lavender Stamp Set. So we're using this stamp right here for the middle part and for the inside. So that's the only stamp that you need from that stamp set. And then the words, um, shoot, I don't remember which stamp set this comes from. Of course, as usual, if you've been watching me, you know I just have a bunch of stamp word stamps sitting on my table and I just grab one that looks like it's gonna fit. <laughs> so I never keep track of where my words come from, but um, that's the easiest thing for me to do. Whenever I'm making a card, I look for one that's like about the right size to fit in there and I just grab that one. So we're using this paper, the Perennial Lavender, 
and it is oh so gorgeous look at that so I've cut up lots of pieces in here so we've got this one with that on the back that's the same piece and then we've got let me see this one with the checkers on the back this one with the purple on the back um, this one with just purple on the back uh, this one with the blue on the back that I love that blue that's pretty peacock and it's so pretty so here's some fuller pieces some bigger ones this is what we're using for the little pieces on ours so these are the two pieces that I use today this one and this one but you could pick any that you want to mix together for yours or you can just leave it the one so um just love these um, papers and this I think this is just such a pretty sheet so this is like two packs combined because I used most of both packs so I just stuck them in the same package I need to buy some of those 12 by 12 paper holders to keep my stuff more organized all right, don't forget, it is celebration. A lot of you guys have been taking advantage of all the free stuff that you get during celebration. So, um, oh, Lynn, you didn't get an email from me. Yeah, I was saying, welcome back. So I'll send it again. Um, so it's celebration. So you get a free item from the celebration catalog for every $50 you order. And then if you order $100, there's some bigger ones in here like that one. Is with the hundred dollar order this one is with the hundred dollar order um, but most of them are with fifty dollar orders and there's lots of designer paper in here to pick from this one being my favorite one the one with the birds so I bought a bunch well not, I didn't buy a bunch I ordered a bunch and then got those for free so um, everything in this is free with a fifty dollar or more order and a couple of them are with a hundred dollar order also um, if you order $50 and use my host code, you get a free card kit, which is this one. It's three of these, and you get all the supplies to make the cards, except for the stamps and ink. You have to have that yourself. Um, so you'll get all that after the 15th of the month, because this goes from the 1st through the 15th. So I always wait till after all the orders are in and then cut everything. And then if your order's over $100, you get the gems too. So during celebration, if you order $100, you not only get the card kit and the gems, but you get two things out of here for free or one of the bigger items like that set. So you can get two packs of paper. You can get two of those for free or one of those for free and one of those for free and then all this too. Um, and if you haven't gotten your mini catalog, let me know. Um, because I sent all of my customers one. So if you're one of my customers, you should have gotten it in the mail. And then also, if your order is over $100, you might want to think about getting the starter kit right now because it's a fantastic deal. Because normally you get $125 for free for $99 and free shipping. But now you get in addition to that, the glass mat kit, which I'm sure you've seen on other people's websites. I have mine, but I haven't really used it too much. Um, and it's hard to do it on the video because it's such a glare um, with the lights. So I know a few demonstrators have showed it, but um, that's a really awesome kit. And if you don't want that, you can get $30 more in product um, plus the free shipping. And also, if you place a $300 or more order, you get six free celebration items plus... Um, my kit and gems plus um, an extra $30 in free host rewards. So that's $66 free plus six free celebration plus the card kit and gems. So that is a great deal. So get a couple friends together. You be the hostess. You get all the free stuff. And uh, well, they would get their free celebration with their order. But so it's just a great time to be a stamper right now. All right, so we're gonna start with the plain one first, and then we're gonna do this one second, but we're kinda gonna do them at the same time. So um, let me show you what you need. So but basically the same exact things, except for this one, you need these two extra pieces. That's the only difference. 
So you need two pieces of Lost Lagoon, five and a half by eight and a half. And then you need um, two pieces of white that are, whoops, five and a quarter by four. You need two of the designer papers, two pieces of the perennial lavender. These are five by four and a quarter. Uh-oh, you know what I just realized? I put this wrong. This should, no wait a minute, I put this one wrong. This should be five and a quarter by four. Okay, there we go. I don't know what I was thinking. Yes, should be a quarter inch less than that. So there you go. All right, these are the two little pieces you need for this one. And then you also need your word pieces, which are one by two and a quarter white. You need a bunch of these, uh, let's see, 12 total. Hopefully I cut enough, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10. uh-oh, I think I only got 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh-oh, I need one more. <laughs> or else I lost one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, no, that is not good. How did I miss one? Okay, well, that stinks. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go run and get the other one because I forgot it. Dang it. I don't have any extra in here either. I don't think. Okay, we're gonna have to just take a one. You know what? Maybe I could use some of this paper. Then I wouldn't have to get up. <laughs> we have some of this paper in here, which would probably work. No, I don't like that. I wonder if the purple one would work. I should just run and go get the other one. Um. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we need the other color. All right. I'll be right back. Hold on one second. And I'm going to run. I'm back. Okay. So, somehow I miscounted. So we need one more piece. Let me just get a little piece out of here. So all you do is cut one quarter inch pieces. So you just take a big piece of scrap paper. So this is four inches. So move it back a quarter of an inch and then just cut it. So there we go. I'm gonna cut a couple extras just in case. Let me see. That's too big. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> well, y'all got a nice little break to talk to yourself. <laughs> Okay, so that's what you do. You just take a piece of scrap paper and cut quarter inch strips for that. So there's our two cards. Ugh, now I'm out of breath. <laughs> I need to start working out. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let me read some comments before we start. While you guys take a screenshot of that. Um... Oh, Florida's even cold. Wicked windy and raining. Well, I'm glad we don't have any rain. We got enough rain the other day for the whole winter, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, Sherry, snow. <laughs> you got snow, so your crop was canceled so you could watch me. <laughs> I, I ordered that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tree is down. Could you trim off a smidgen of the rounded edges? Um, you probably could, but I was afraid I'd mess that up. So this is easy and you you really can't tell. There's like a little teeny gap in there. It pretty much goes almost right up to the edge. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I 
Vicki, you are so funny. Um, I want to get the stamp set, but it was out. What? I can't believe they're sold out of that already. Let's see. Tried to order the sweet. It's unavailable. So I wonder if just the, it's probably coming back in soon because hopefully they would have a ton more on order. Um, hey, Mel. Throw this to my TV screen. Oh, Linda's you're watching it on her big screen TV. Okay, I think I got pretty much all the comments. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna do this one first, just the plain one, and then I'm gonna show you how to do the other one. So we're gonna do all the stamping first and then put it together. And hopefully you got a screenshot of that. So you need 12 of these. Now I have extras in case I mess up. All right, so we're gonna stamp the inside and the words, and then I need two pieces of punches. I forgot to tell you that. So you need a scrap paper to punch out the two punches. So this is new, this is in the Spring Mini, and it comes as a bundle, or you can get it separate, either one, and then just get some scrap paper to punch it out. All right, so what we're stamping is the lavender, the Highland Heather color, with the lavender um, flowers, and we're gonna stamp it. This is my last time using this piece because next video will be a new kit. So we're gonna have a new piece of paper. So I stamped it off because I didn't want it super dark. So stamp it off and then stamp it on there. And then do another one, stamp it off, and stamp it again. So then you have your flowers on here, kind of Fill in that little gap there. Do the same thing on here. Do it twice. And then just fill in that little gap at the bottom. Okay, so there's your two pieces there. And then we gotta do that on the um, inside too. So just ink that up again. We're gonna do full strength for the inside. So stamp it and then move it stamp it again so you get that and one more time oops I missed some ink there okay so there's your insides and then for the words we're gonna stamp the um, thank you for everything oops and I need to switch colors so this was Highland Heather now we're gonna go to pretty peacock and stamp these words. For some reason, these words are hard to stamp for me because they are they don't look straight, but I'm gonna try. So here we go. All right, there's one. I need to re-ink this pad. It's kind of light. Okay, so there we go. And then we're gonna take those and just dip the edges so they're just a little bit of blue on the edge. I think I have a lot of projects today that I need to um, finish up from class last week. So I'm gonna get them all together and sit at my coffee table in front of the TV and watch some Netflix or Amazon Prime movies. I think I told you guys I watched um, a couple good shows. They were, um, let me see, The Way Home, which was a Hallmark movie. And, well not a movie, it was a series, mini series. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. Um, and then I watched Fool Me Once, which was really good. That was another mini series. And that was, that was also on Netflix, I think. Um, and I watched, uh, what was it called? My Life with the Walter Boys. That was really, really good. Um, that, I think that was maybe a hallmark too. I'm not positive, but. It was really good. They were all mini series. So this goes on the inside. And this one goes on the inside. So I'm gonna look and see what I can find today. But that fool me once was really good. If you like um, kind of like murder mystery, suspense, it's a really, really good one. The Way Home is more Hallmark chick. It's not really chick flick because it's kind of like time travel in there. It's really, really good. 
and then my life with the Walter boys. I know I told you guys about the move, the series I watched the summer I turned pretty. Um, that was last year. And this one kind of reminds me of that one. It's very similar. All right, so we're going to start with this one. And I should have made a template like I did for my, um, the one with the square. It goes this way. And it would have made it easier. You really want to try and get as close to the center as you can. I know it's kind of hard to wing it sometimes, but we're going to wing it. Um, so we're just going to put it here, and I'm just going to wing it and hope it's straight. So... You want to just get it as close to the middle as you can and make sure your sides are straight. And if you make a template, that would make it easier. All right, so there you go. Um, so that looks pretty good. It's probably a little bit to the right, but that's okay. All right, we're going to do that for both of them. Make sure you got your flowers going the right way. And then stick that in the middle. Mm. Dang, it sticks quick. I need to go a little bit farther over. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we've got our two pieces down in the middle. And we're going to save the words for last. So we're going to start with our pieces here. And so what I do is usually I start on the top right corner and go clockwise. For this one, I'm going to go counterclockwise because I'm going to overlap the top edge so that you don't see that because I'll show you why in a second. So what I did, I put, I go just about where the corner is and then that's crooked. And then put that down. And I didn't really mean to glue that all the way down because I wanted to stick the last piece underneath there. So I'm going to kind of try and leave that up like that just for a minute. Okay, so normally what I would do is go this way and then bump it right up. But since, see what happens if you bump it right up? It's going that way. You could slide it underneath right now while it's not wet, but I'm gonna go the other direction so that I don't have that on top. And it's just easier to put it on top this way. So if I go this way, I'm gonna do my glue the same way. So go to where that corner is and try to make a straight line all the way to the edge. And the reason I don't put it on the paper is because if you put it on the paper, you don't know how far to put the glue. And if you put it on all of it, you're gonna have glue on this side sticking out and it's gonna have sticky everywhere. So see how that covers that right up and you don't even know that it's not butted up against it. It just looks like it's um, there. So this is gonna go over top of that one. So again, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see better. Hello, Lisa Hand. <laughs> you guys don't wanna see what I look like this morning. I have. I kind of have a little afro going when I wake up in the morning because I sleep on my side and so both sides. So once I have pretty short hair and I kind of have product in it. So when I go to sleep and I wake up, I have one side straight up. And then if I sleep on the other side, I have that side straight up. So my hair sticks straight up in the air and um, I, I look pretty scary in the morning. And uh, since I'm not going anywhere today, I'm not putting any makeup or doing my hair or anything. So I look mighty scary. So hopefully nobody's coming over to my house today to see me. Because I am not getting dressed. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas for the day. All right. So again, we're just overlapping these the whole way around. I see that one I should have gone up just a teeny bit higher, but that's okay. And then we're almost done. We gotta do this one. And I, I got my groceries delivered this morning from Walmart. And normally I get these notifications. 
I don't know if somehow they were turned off or something that you know when the guy is coming on the way and when they're here and all that stuff and normally they ring the doorbell but for some reason this morning I didn't get any notifications like when they were coming but it was supposed to be between 9 and, and 10 and so I'm waiting and waiting I don't get a notification and um it's getting to be almost 10 o'clock and I'm like, man, I can't believe the groceries aren't here yet. And I open the door, they're sitting out there. I'm like, what? Luckily it's cold outside. Okay, here's where I goofed. So I didn't mean to glue that down yet. So we want to put that underneath. So this piece covers that up. Okay, and then I'll just put, well, oh, it's actually got enough glue on there. Okay, so see, when you look at it, you can't really see, except for that one I didn't put up far enough, but you really can't see the edges, and it looks like it's butted right up to it. So you're going to flip it over and trim it. So just trim all these pieces off. That one's a little crooked. So luckily it's cold outside because I got a lot of refrigerated stuff. And, um, you know, it was still cold, but I was like, man, I can't believe the guy didn't even ring the doorbell. And let me know he dropped it off because they always do. So I didn't get any kind of notification. All right, so this is trash. And then, um, so that one's pretty much done. We're just going to set it aside and do this one. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So start off with your one piece here. And I'm not going to glue all the way this time, so I'm only going to go, like, well, I didn't mean to go that far either, but um, you don't want to go all the way so we can tuck it under. So just butt it right up to your edge, but make sure you go a little bit past the corner. So there you go. But this is open so I can slide that last piece under there. So make sure you go counterclockwise and just make a straight line here with your glue. So see, see how nice that covers if you go farther up? Get a little extra glue. So there we go, and keep on going. See that one I probably should have pushed over a little bit. Okay, yeah, see that should be just a little bit over because you got a little bit more showing than I want. So try to get those edges a little past the corner or the edge. Okay, keep going. And these are so easy. Now there is a die in the big catalog, I'm pretty sure it's in the big catalog, that is an actual um, hexagon that has straight edges instead of rounded edges. And I think there's also a pentagon, which is the five-sided one. So those would probably make it a little bit easier. But if you don't have the dies, which I don't, um, this is pretty easy. And um, it's easier if you're doing a class, if you're a demonstrator, because then you can... Boy, I went crooked on that, didn't I? Um, just pass the punch around. Everybody can punch out their own. Sometimes, depending on what the die is, you don't want to have to do them all ahead of time for everybody because that's a lot of work. All right, then the very last one, remember we're going to tuck this one under here. So I've got that still up. So put that down. And we're going to just tuck it under. Right up against it. Now, if you forget, which is what I did when I did the first one, I didn't really forget, but I didn't even think about it. Um, what I did was I just went ahead and, and laid it down on top and snipped it off. So let me go ahead and put my glue on this one. Put that down. Okay, so now we've got that done. And see how it goes right under there? You can't see it. So the only one, I keep messing up on that one right there. That should have been over just a little bit. So you do want to go a little bit past that rounded edge there when you put it down. 
So flip it over and snip it. And I'm going to read comments in one second. I know you guys are talking up a storm today because I see it going by. DSP, you forgot. No, I, di I didn't. Um, you do that last. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now we're done with that, and I have my two extra pieces now. So now we're gonna put those last two pieces in. So on this one, that's the top and the bottom. So we wanna put this piece in here, and we wanna put this piece in here, but you're going, oh, well that's, how are you gonna cut that? That looks hard, what are you gonna do? Let me show you. Okay, so <laughs> when we do the, the square one, they're pretty easy. You can just slide the piece right in there and then trim the edge. But here, put that right up to the corner and then take your scissors, not the open scissors, but closed scissors, and press it right up against that edge like that. So then what happens is you have made a crease. You just cut that off. And then it should fit right up in there. So mine's just a slight bit crooked. Okay, so we're going to just stick that in. I think I made a, a slight little error. Because it's just a smidge off, but it'll still work. Okay, so then just glue that down and trim that off. And there you go. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one, and we want this one to go this way. So put that right in the corner again. Take your scissors and butt it right up to that corner, and you're pressing against that, this piece right here. So there you go. And when you bend it, see how it matches right there? So then cut that. Now it should match up perfectly. Yeah, see, I did that one better. And then just put your glue in there. And there you go. So that one came out perfect. Okay. And then just trim off the edges. And then you are almost done. I got a funny joke for you today. It's an it's a one I've told before, but I forgot it. And so um, somebody sent me a bunch of jokes, and they a couple of them I have already done before, but they were um, really really funny ones. So we're gonna do them again because I don't think you guys will remember it. I didn't I didn't really remember this one too much, but I know I have told it before. All right, so put this on. Make sure we got it the right direction. And, oh, let me read all the comments. Okay, Lori. Hey, Lori. Lori says, I love faux shutter cards. What did Vicky say? My dog looks at me strange in the morning. Like, he wakes up to a whole new owner. Because <laughs> your hair looks like mine. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, we have DLW Workout Girl. She said, Mario told her about me. Well, thank you, Mario. Um... Oh, Vicky says, I look like I have a rhino horn on the top of my head. Yeah, mine's not quite that bad, but almost. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. And then we're going to put this one on here. And I need to be a workout girl. I need to lose <laughs> a lot of weight because uh, I've got the Stampin' Up! trip coming up in um, April. And I don't want to be, like, super fat on that trip. You know how uncomfortable it is. I can't tell if this is upside down or not. Wait a minute. I think it goes that way, yeah. Um, so I got to lose weight before the Stampin' Up! trip so I could be in a bathing suit in front of everybody. But my problem is I love sugar. 
<laughs> as I'm sure most of you can relate. All right, so for the center, we're going to put dimensionals on here. And I know some of you say, well, you just have to have willpower. You just have to exercise. Well, I do not have willpower, and I hate to exercise, so that's the hard part for me. I wish I could just give my body to somebody, let them take it out to the gym and bring it back all nice and um, slim. And then uh, I'd be done. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if we could just take our bodies off, like unzip them, give them to somebody, say, go exercise this for me, to people who like to exercise. And then that would be so much easier. All right, we're going to put bows on these. So I did one bow ahead of time. I did a double one. I love my double bows with the linen thread. So we're going to take a glue dot and put that on there. And then I've got some gems too. So we're just gonna put that right in the corner there. And it's a little bit long, so we'll trim it. Oh, you know what else I watched lately? And this is a really good show. It's called, um, oh, what's it called? Transport? Is it called Transport? I think it is. It's about this guy who's a doctor and he um, comes to Canada, he moves to Canada from Syria, and he was a surgeon over there, but then they kind of broke out in the war, and he came to Canada, and he ends up uh, saving the life of the head of the hospital, and so they offer him a job, but he doesn't have his papers, and not he doesn't have a degree, you know, a medical degree in the um you know, North America or Canada, you know, or the United States or anything. So um, he kind of has to start all over from scratch, even though he's like been a surgeon forever. But his character is like so good. And he, his sister comes with him. And it's season two now, so I've been watching it. Oh, and you know what else started? Reacher Transplant. That's what it is, Transplant. Um, Yeah, that is the best show. And... Uh, so this is season two. I'm watching now. I'm going to trim these up. Another good show is Reacher. And that just started season two. So if you guys are looking for some shows to watch, those are some good ones. And also, on regular TV, um, well, Transplant is on regular TV too. Um, I watched one called Found, which is about um, kids that go missing. And um, this lady who was kidnapped when she was younger, she's like in charge of, she kind of has like a, mm, a private company that just finds missing children. And um, it's so good. So that's a good one. So there's a lot of good shows out there if you guys are looking for something to watch. All right, so then, whoops, we need some gems. So I've got these, which are gorgeous, and I lost the paper that they're on, but they're some kind of pearls, and they're in the spring mini. So let me look real quick and tell you what they are. They are, oops, wait a minute, they're not in the spring mini, are they? Petal pink, oh it is, yes, it's this, is it this one? No. Well shoot, where are these from then? I thought they were in this many, but I don't think that's them. Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foil Gems. Um, hmm. I don't think that's these. So, where did these come from? Because they're brand new. It had to have been in this. But I don't think that, let me see, page 15. Nope, that's not them. Okay, so, anybody know where these came from? Because... Maybe they're in the big book. Let me look. If they're in the big book, I just discovered them because I just started using them. 
Let's see. Okay, I don't see them in here either. That is so weird. Maybe they're online. They must be an online thing. I don't know. Does anybody know where these come from? They're Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon and... Huh. Now I'm kind of baffled. Blooming Pearls. They're Blooming Pearls. Okay. Renee said Blooming Pearls. Where can you find them? Are they online? They're not Celebration. Um... Yeah, Sharon, most of these are on Netflix, but um, like Reacher, I think is Amazon, I want to say. But the other ones are Netflix and then Transplants on regular TV, I think on either Fox or NBC. And Found is on NBC, I'm pretty sure. So, all right, we're going to grab some of these. And these match perfectly with... So you can use this one, this one, or the gold ones. I'm gonna use these ones right here. So put one right there. See how perfect that matches? And put one over here and one up here. All right, so there's those. And then I'm gonna put three on here. I just love that color. It's kind of like gold swirled with pretty peacock. It's really pretty. The only bad thing is you don't get very many so you gotta order a lot because I don't like the bigger ones as much as the smaller ones but all right then we're gonna spray it with shimmer spray so here we go love it all right so there you go and there's all of them so, which ones do you like better? The plain ones or the ones with the two colors on there? Let me read some comments to you. Oh, found, yeah, found is NBC. I don't think they were in the Christmas catalog. Um, I think they may be online. Does anybody know? Um, oh, the spray. Ramona, this spray is alcohol and um it's 70 percent alcohol and this sh shimmer paint right here so it is sukuniko champagne mist shimmer paint we used to sell it at stampin up oh blooming pearls are in the christmas mini dang i hope they carried over because then they're retired hopefully they're not retired if they are i am sorry because i did not realize that i thought they were from the spring mini um, this, there's a link in the description box below the video where you can get this, um, cause Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it anymore. And then this, um, you just take regular old, um, rubbing alcohol, 70% alcohol, fill this up with the alcohol, and then you just take this, shake it up, pour a little bit in, like a quarter to a half a teaspoon, um, shake it up, and there you go. It makes this gorgeous spray that lasts forever. And the spray bottles you can get at the Dollar Tree. Um, when you like on TV, does it count? Yeah, should count. If you're logged into Google, then it counts. Um, hey, Lisa, does the, do you know if those Blooming Pearls retired? Because I hope not. I don't have my holiday mini with me, so I can't look. But, um, if they didn't retire, then they're available online. The two colors are my favorite. I love it. Thanks for using the octagon shape. So I wanted to do this. Yes, you're right about it looking more like a shutter. Yeah, I think this definitely looks more like a shutter than just the four-sided one. So I really wanted to try that. Um, oh, thank you, Mel. Love Reacher. Yes, Wendy Reacher is so cute. Oh, yeah, Virgin River had two episodes on for Christmas. And it'll be back, um, I think, pretty soon. Oh, Sandy made the napkin cards good. Thank you, Vicky. Um, okay, I think I got all the comments. All right, you ready for a joke? We have a joke. So, oh, if you haven't done thumbs up, make sure you do the thumbs up and then um, share it, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. 
um, all that good stuff for me. And here is the joke for today. All right, it's a blonde joke. So if you're blonde, don't get offended. All right, a young blonde woman was driving through the Florida Everglades while on vacation. She wanted to take home a pair of genuine alligator shoes in the worst way, but was very reluctant to pay the high prices that the local vendors were asking. After becoming very frustrated with the attitude of one of the shopkeepers, the young blonde declared, well, then maybe I'll just go out and catch my own alligator and get a pair of shoes for free. The shopkeeper replied with a sly smile, well, little lady, why don't you just go on ahead and try? The blonde headed off to the swamp, determined to catch an alligator. Later in the day, as the shopkeeper was driving home, he spotted the same young woman standing waist deep in the murky water, shotgun in hand. As he brought his car to a stop, he saw a huge nine-foot alligator swimming rapidly toward her. With lightning reflexes, the blonde took aim, shot the creature, and hauled it up onto the slippery bank. Nearby were seven more dead alligators, all lying belly up. The shopkeeper stood on the bank, watching in silent amazement as the blonde struggled mightily and barely managed to flip the, the gator onto its back. Then, rolling her eyes heavenward, she screamed in frustration, Crap! This one's barefoot, too! <laughs> So she was trying to find some alligators with shoes. <laughs> it took me a minute to get it, but <laughs> I remember telling this joke a long time ago, but I forgot about it. So I thought I would tell it again because I thought it was cute. So I hope you liked that one. And I hope you liked the video. And uh, make sure you try this because it is pretty easy. And if you... um. Don't have the hexagon punch. See if you have the dies that have the hexagon or the pentagon shape in there. And you can do the same exact thing. So thank you guys so much for um, joining me today. Oh, you like that. Everybody likes the joke. Good. <laughs> oh, blooming pearls are still available, says Marva. So that's good. And that joke today. Oh, who was that from? Let me see. Terry Gat Gatton sent me that joke. So thank you, Terry, for sending me that joke. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your weekend. I will be back on, what's today, Saturday? I'll be back Tuesday night with another video and a new card kit. So stay tuned for that. If you want this card kit, um, make sure you get your order in by the 15th. Um, you get three of these. Make sure you use the host code for me, too. Um, thanks, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.